Hello everyone, in this video we want to build a loading screen and like you can see here on the right side we have a list view and we want to have some loading. So we want to use the skeleton text plugin to load all of our data and therefore I go to, first of all to the installing section and copy this dependency and put it here into our pubspec jumble file and here under us dependencies I put the skeleton text inside like I did here and then you need to restart your application. Then I go to the main file and here inside I have this list view already. So this is a basic list view with some items. So here we have this build result item and I just placed here some row with an image and also some text inside. And now what we want to do is to build the skeleton. So we will build here a second method for build skeleton. And basically what we want to do is we want to use the same widget which we have created here and change only the widgets that it gets a skeleton design. And I will first of all delete all the other stuff here after it because we want to go step by step. So what we want to build the skeleton for is first of all only for this image and how we do this is we create a new widget. So here inside I create a new widget and I call it skeleton container and here inside of this build method we want to place first of all the skeleton animation and therefore we need to import here this skeleton text widget which we get from this plugin which we have put inside and here inside we put our design of the skeleton inside so basically we create here a container and I will give it a width and a height and we also give it some decoration so we want to have a background color of gray and therefore we set here the decoration color to colors.gray and then we choose here a different gray color and what we need to do right now is to create these two fields. So here at the top I create first of all the width and also the height. And here inside I set first of all this to double infinity and also the height to double infinity. So we want to use here a default value. And now what we want to build is this here as a private method. And we will exactly do the same. So we create here another method and here I call it square because later we want to use different types and therefore I start here with the square so that we can have different constructors for a different look and feel. So first of all we put here also width and height inside and then we call here this constructor. So I call here this and underscore and then I put here the width and height inside. So that's it what we need. So basically we want to call this constructor here square from our main file. So instead of showing here this image, we will show here this skeleton container and I put this image here outside and basically we need to import here the skeleton container and then I also need to call here the square method. So we keep the dimensions of the image here on the right side, but basically we want to show here only like the skeleton container. And now we need also to put our build skeleton inside of this list view. So instead of this build result, we show here this skeleton. And now if we hot restart, then you see here that we have here this animation. And if you go here back to this skeleton plugin, then it looks exactly like this one here. So you can also change the background color of the skeleton. Therefore you simply go to the skeleton container and here inside you can also change it to a different color. So let's take for example black and then if you hot reload you see that we have here this different color. And what you also have here as an option is to change the skeleton animation. So you can change the gradient color. So let's say we want to use here instead a color, for example orange. And if I hot reload then you see that the first color is changed to orange. And we also have here the other color, which is, for example, red right now. And then you see that the second color in this gradient gets the color of red. And with these both fields, you can change the gradient, but I don't want to use them. But if you want, you can change here the color like you want to have your color. 
and you also can change here with curve how the animation looks like so basically you can choose here different animations so let's first of all take here for example this ease and quad and then if you hot restart you see we have here different animation and if i get this outside again then you see it is much much faster so you can change here the curves like you want so just go through all the curves and look which one suits the best for your project so in my case i will just comment this here out and these three properties you can set for your project if you like to change it how this animation should look like and what we want to do is we want also to change it here back to the color of gray so this is here like you can see on the right side we have here this image but maybe you want to have also the text here at the top and also the text here below and therefore we want to also put here the other things inside so I will copy the remaining widget and I will paste it here inside and now we have to every time change where we have here for example this text and therefore we use the same method so we use here instead of this height 15 we use here the skeleton container and here I want to build a new constructor so I want to make it rounded but yeah maybe we start with square then we make it rounded and here you can set a width and what I will set the width to to a media query of context and then you can access here the size and the width and now we want to use 60% of the remaining width which we have here and we also set here the height to this height here to the font size so that our end result has the same height as our loading widget and the same thing we do here for the second text so below I have here the second text and we only change here the height because this here has only a height of 13 and therefore I put here this height of 13 inside and I will also change the width so we want to make it only like a shorter width so I put here 60 for example inside and now if you hot reload then you see we have here these two bars and like you can see it's like 60% of the width so like you can see we have here 60% of the whole width of this row and you can also change it for example to 50 then it gets smaller or you can also choose here like a real value so for example 300 and then it looks like this so I use here 60 and for the other one I use the 60 width like the second row which you can see here and you can also change here then the height if you want to have it bigger then you can change here for example for the first one that this gets bigger like you can see and with this one you can choose to build your individual skeleton design and now what we want to do is we want to show the skeleton design until the result is loaded so what I do here at the top is to create a new property which is called loading and I set it to true and now we want to create here this init state method so basically at the beginning of this widget we want to load the data and therefore I create here a new method load data and at the beginning we set here the loading to true so every time we want to make sure that the loading indicator like this is showing and therefore I put it here into also into the set state and after it we can also load the dummy data so here inside I call future delayed and here inside you can just put some seconds inside so for example four seconds of loading so here I set instead put the loading to false and now that's it what we need to do here and now we also put this loading indicator here inside of our list view so if it is loading then we want to show the skeleton and otherwise we want to show the result which you later have loaded from your server and now if you hot restart this application it will load here for four seconds and then it will show this result here like you can see I will now set it a little bit higher to 100 so that we can work further with the skeleton design and here below I also want to make the text rounded because right now if I hot restart you see that this here is the square and maybe you want to have this rounded instead so what I want to do is I want to call here this rounded and also here this rounded so we create in our skeleton container a new constructor 
and we call it here rounded. And basically we want to put here a radius inside, so I use here border radius and I set here default value, so border radius to all directions. And I set it here, for example, 12, so that we don't need to set it every time. So the standard is 12 circular rounded. And we also put this here into our main constructor. So I will put here the radius inside. And therefore, I simply copy this one here and put it here into this constructor. And I will also create here this field for the radius. And now we want to use this radius and put it here inside. So we want to put it here below into our box decoration. And here we have the property which is called border radius. And there we put our border radius inside. So maybe I rename it to border radius so that it also fits. So now I have changed here all the fields and we also change here and the constructor it to zero. So if we have the standard constructor called, for example, square, then we don't want to have here some rounded things. So basically we want to have it not rounded in the beginning. And now if we hot restart, you see that we have here this rounded because we have set here this one to rounded and also this one. And with the border radius property, you can now change it all the time to different radius. So for example, you choose here four for the first one, then you see that it is here less rounded and you can also set your age, then it is a little bit more rounded and so on. So you can play basically with these values. And if you don't supply here a value, then he will take the default value, which we have put here inside of 12. All right, and now the last thing I want to show you is that you also can change here, for example, the square design. Maybe you want to show an avatar, which is rounded in circular rounded. And therefore I create here a new constructor and I call it here circular. And basically what we want to put here inside is a higher number, so maybe like 80. And if we now use this constructor for our image here on the left side, so instead of a square, we show a circular. And then if we hot restart, then you see that we have here this avatar, which is rounded. And now we can also change this again to a lower value. And then after four seconds, it is showing again the real design. So every time it is loading. And I also want to put quickly like another button here inside so that we can refresh all the time our design. So if you want to play with this, you can download this code. And here I put this button for you inside. Then you can always reload it. So I put here this icon, icons refresh. And on pressed, we want to simply load the data. And that's it. So basically now you have here this button also on the right top side. And every time you press here, then you see here for four seconds, this loading screen. And then you can press again if you want to show this design again. Hello everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon. Bye.